Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation and the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. Pupils of Awunakopa, an island community in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region, are dropping out of school to engage in fashion because there's no classroom for them. The situation is compounded by the lack of furniture, most of which are washed away when the white vault overflows its banks and sweeps through the community. Kamala Adom reports education in the community is on its knees. You would have to endure a dangerous water commute from Sabonjida to get to Aunakopa, an island community on the other side of town. We are on a journey to Aunakopa, which is a few meters away from the Sabonjida area, and we have had to use the boat to cross over the White Volta. On the water body, you would find children either returning from fishing or now headed out for fishing. And like the 2022 United Nations Research Institute for Social Development flagship report on the crisis of inequality found, extreme deprivations persist in the global south despite substantial advances towards eradication of poverty and advancing human well-being. The report reveals disparities in access to education have negative implications for inequality because they have an important role to play in perpetuating inequality over the life course of children. And here at Awunakopa, those disparities are glaring. No classrooms, no furniture, no teaching and learning materials. Addition. 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 Richard the Kaglo is head teacher of what is left of the Awunakopa Primary School. One, the sleeping place is not there. No structure for the school. It's under, like we can stand at three. The owner of the house come now has to move to a different place again. The school was formerly in the water, as you can see the building in the water. And they moved the area to this place. He laments lack of an accommodation facility makes an already tough job even more cumbersome. Because of the accommodation and the school structure, as you like see, if the place is conducive for the people, they will come and stay here. No place for them to sleep. <laughs> Grace Ahunakese, a teenager in class two, has quit the school because of lack of teachers and a proper structure. Education here is really tough. I've had to quit to learn a trade because there are no teachers and there are no structures. Two of her mates have already become pregnant and have left the community. The residents blame her teacher of a school for making a bad situation worse. Mary Ahunakese is mother of 10. And as a 2022 United Nations Research Institute for Social Development flagship report revealed in its chapter on the age of inequality, intersecting inequalities and power, children are proportionately more affected by poverty than the general population because poorer households tend to have larger families, like Mary Awunakese's. Despite living below the poverty line, she's frustrated about the state of education here. There's no classroom, no furniture, no books, no teachers. Her six-month-old twin children are sick, but how to get to the nearest health facility a three-and-a-half-hour journey by a boat is a struggle. Away from her household, a member of the Awunakopa Parent Teacher Association, Raymond Gumashi, has a bad testimonial about the head teacher. We do not know what actually is going on, so the community, the elders, call him and ask. Or when they said, so tomorrow we have a meeting at uh, Salaga, they call us at Bau, so a lot of things. So that's what he has been doing. For the 2017, he tried his best, but from 2018-19 uh, to date, we have not seen anything like that. School Management Committee Chairman Geshen Apado says despite all their appeals for decent school structures and furniture, there have been no results. If we had a school structure and accommodation for teachers, I am sure things would be better. Too many barriers, 
Perhaps the narrative could change beginning with the establishment of a school here. The United Nations Research Institute for Social Development flagship report has shown that a combination of progressive leadership inspired by the common good and public interest, grassroots pressure from below by progressive social movements and civil society organizations and supported by multilateral organizations and frameworks can go a long way toward more sustainable and inclusive development. This pressure could lead to a new eco-social contract for more equal, just and sustainable communities. Hopefully, help will come to pupils of Awunakope. And that's it for mission supported by the Star Ghana Foundation and the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office.